Okay, we're here at the Flat Six Labs uh, Cycle One demo day. Please uh, introduce yourself. Yeah, and my name is uh, Mohammed Cash. I'm the founder and CEO of Yajit. And Yajit is a social, it's an online social application. It's like Facebook and Twitter. You can post things, you can share content with your friends and followers. But what's important in Yajit is that you can tag products and places. And tagging is used a lot on social networks and it means linking so when you share something on Facebook and you tag your friend it means that you are linking your friend to this picture so what we do is that we tag products and places by introducing in Twitter you have the hashtag for topics and the ad sign for people we introduced two new tags a dollar sign for products and the exclamation mark for places so when you tag if you're writing let's say you're sharing something about the book that you like Da Vinci code so you just add dollar sign Da Vinci code our application will understand that this, you are talking about a product or a book and it will automatically link what you posted to the book or to the barcode of this book if it has a barcode so why is it useful because if anyone just hold the book in hand and scan its barcode or take a picture of this book they will be able to see what their friends and the people they're following what they shared about this book and same thing applies for locations, for places. If I say here in Lopasha, uh, I, I use an exclamation mark and the name of the place. And our application will automatically understand that this is a place and it will detect its place on the map. So if you open our application on the Yajit map and you go to the same area, you can see what people are sharing about this area. So this is simply the application. How did you uh, get the idea? Uh, well, the idea, it wasn't like that when we first started, when we first joined Flat6 Lab. It was about, we were trying to track users' uh, purchasing from the mobile, so that when they uh, purchase a product, they can scan its barcode and say, we, we got this product. And this was a way to, you know, uh, track how they like the, the, the product and etc. But we wanted to, by time, we wanted to add some features to make it more useful. And we found out while working on this idea that if, I'm, if I try to find, if I hold uh, any product in hand, I want to find what my friends have shared about this, it's very difficult to find that on Facebook or Twitter. So why can't we make an application that will link the, this offline world of products and places with the online content created about them? And this is where we started to uh, work on this idea more and more until we fi finally got to this uh, stage. What's your initial target market and how do you plan to reach it? Uh, we target the global market, social network users, and uh, our plan is to start by uh, we'll try to reach bloggers, early adopters, people who are interested in technology, trying new applications, and we'll try to give them this application and try and, and let them use it. And we have an integration between our application and the Twitter and Facebook, so that when they post anything on Yajit, it will be shared among their followers. So that will give us more exposure, and by time, people will know the difference between our application and Twitter, for example, because they will see that uh, if you see this post on Twitter and then you find this image saying, hey, your friend, this guy have tagged these products and these places in his post, okay, and you can find this post if you scan this product. And if you try this application, uh, we, 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 I think this is a good way to reach a large number of audience with the cheaper, with the uh, minimum expenses when it comes to marketing. I forgot to ask something very important in the Arabic interview. Um, how will you make money? Uh, well, the application will be for free, the website and the mobile, mm -hmm. and we want to build a large user base. After that, our target is to generate revenue from advertisements. And we have a good model for advertisements because now companies and brands can target users not only based on their demographics, but also, which is more important, on the products they are interested in or the places they are interested in, or a mix of both. So I can target users who are interested in, um, let's say, iPad in city center or city stars, not in any other place. See, uh, but uh, also one of the things that we believe will be a big value for our company is when we have a large user base, we are looking after uh, an acquisition. This is what we have in mind as well. Okay. Is there anything you change about the last three months uh, implementation-wise? Uh, 
Yeah, we did. We, we did changes to. Uh, if you mean what changes we have done to the program. No, if you could go back, would you change uh, anything? Uh, no. no. I think yeah, we're we're satisfied with what with what we've learned. Uh, we've been through different stages. We got lots of feedback from uh, Flat Six Labs staff and Sawari Ventures, and I think that we, we've done uh, iterations on the program as well. And I, I believe that what we got today is is not a one or two days uh, job, but we got it because of those you know, collaborative work. So I wouldn't. Uh, I'm satisfied with what we've done so far. Okay, and uh, next step. Uh, next step is that we're looking for investment uh, to finalize the product and to uh, start acquiring users. And this investment will also cover our expenses, marketing, travel expenses to the U.S. And uh, so. And we are already developing the application and we expect to have our private beta uh, soon, by mid of uh, June, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, thank you very much You're for welcome. your time, best of luck. Thank you.